Do the GLP-1s help ghosts lose weight? That's the only way I can make sense of this claim. We thought it was 125 million pounds. Mr. President, our estimate based on the company numbers as well is Americans will lose 135 billion pounds by the midterms. So there are 330 million Americans times 180 pounds each on average, which gives that there are roughly 60 billion pounds of Americans. So if the GLP-1s helped us lose 135 billion pounds of Americans, the math ain't mathing, as they say. Somehow we are ending up with negative 75 billion pounds of Americans. I've seen it suggested that this is one of those unit errors where you say like, oh my goodness, Elon Musk has $400 billion, though he could give every American a billion dollars and still have $70 billion left over, which is not true. He could give every American $1,000, and Elon, I hope you do. But that being said, I'm not sure the unit explanation Thing is actually the best because even the initial claim that the GLP ones are going to help Americans lose 125 million pounds doesn't really hold up to scrutiny. 125 million pounds is a lot, but again, there are a lot of Americans. There are 330 million of us. And so if you properly cancel out those millions, you can see that this means the GLP one drugs would help the average American lose less than half a pound, closer honestly to a third of a pound. No, now, that doesn't make much sense either. I think the better thing to do is to start with the 125 million pound estimate and then use the average number of pounds per person that the GLP-1 drugs help people lose. The studies I looked at said that the GLP-1s over the course of a year help you lose about 10% of your body weight. If the average American is 185 pounds, that means the average American could expect to lose 18 and a half pounds. If we now take our 125 million pounds and divide that by the 18 and a half pounds per person that we would expect the drugs to help people lose, that gives us back a reasonable, if a bit underwhelming estimate that we're thinking about 6.8 million Americans would benefit from losing those 18 and a half pounds each. Maybe what the video was meant to say is simply that, you know, with additional access, this is now going to 135 million pounds, which again, assuming something like 18 and a half pounds per person would mean now we're expecting about 7.3 million Americans to benefit from increased access to the GLP-1s. Which is great. This is an almost 10% increase over what was happening before. But I guess maybe when you're doing a press conference and you get right into the middle of it, saying something like, oh, Mr. President, 125 million pounds were going to be lost, and now it's 135 million pounds. Like, maybe that just didn't have the, uh, the punch that he wanted it to. And so we went for the B, 135 billion pounds. Alas, I don't think we're going to have the GLP-1s helping the average American lose 400 pounds.